Hello, welcome back to the series of video on update design. This is the second part of the video and this video will cover more details about updating the column design. What are the interpretations or what are the considerations that are made in the software when we go ahead for performing the update design for the column module. So let's get started. So I have now opened my RCDC file and I can select the design code. I go ahead with the ACI 3.8 2014. This feature with, can be used with any design code. I go ahead to select my analysis file and let us proceed ahead with the column and wall design. So my model has been read in RCDC. I quickly go to settings and make the settings that I want to make for designing. I say perform ductile design for intermediate frames and I'm keeping the other settings as the default ones. I would like to make a few columns like say C9 as a gravity column from here itself so that we can check it on later. In the level data tab, I can set the material grades. Once this is set, uh, we go ahead for selecting the basic load cases. Say this is my dead load, live load, earthquake X and earthquake Z. And I add the load combinations for a regular type of the structure. Press on OK and go ahead for performing the auto design. So once the auto design is performed and we make relevant changes or required changes, we first need to save the file. So I save this file. Once my design is freezed and I want to update it. So I need to go to the file menu. Click on the update design. So once we click on update design, on this stage, there is no option to change the design code because we are just comparing, trying to compare the design with the revised analysis course. So I just go ahead to select the updated model. So I uh, select my revised model or the updated model. And once the data has been read, I just need to click on the update project as I'm just trying to compare the column design for two different analysis files. So it comes at a stage wherein it reads the revised data from the selected analysis file. So if you have created your original file using MDB from the ETABS or a RAM SS module, you will be allowed to select that particular file itself like for an MDB file originally used you have to select the corresponding MDB file only you cannot mix and match the ETABS MDB and then select a STAD MDB that is actually not possible and hence it is not allowed in RCDC. So on this window we can see the level data so which are our levels in my existing files and if the same levels are being found in my revised file also then this ticks will be automatically done and whichever new level is found so this 18.2 meter level as i have shown it to you all in the model overlook this was an additional level which i have added so it has been shown over here in the zone and bar settings all the column sizes are same or almost equivalent so we cannot change the number of bars along each edge. Coming to load cases, I have added a new load case over here. Now for column design, if I want to use this load case, I need to assign the load type. If I don't assign the load type and switch on to load combinations, as my load case set is remaining the same, my load combinations are auto populated. But the moment I select and uh, select a new load case for designing and I click on next, I have 
to again select the load combinations for designing. And once all the settings are done in this four stages, we need to click on update. So as soon as we click on the update button, the program starts reading the data from the revised analysis file that we have selected. Once the data is completely read, it performs the design as per the criteria that we have already discussed. And whatever the changes or the differences are being found will be presented in a report, which is known as the update design report. Okay, so this is our update design report. And this report will provide us the information about what are the changes or the differences that are observed in the revised model by comparing it with the original situation. So the first information that is provided is the level information, which are which are the levels which were present in the existing or your original file and what is the update or the new change that has been found. Also, we get the information about the columns that are identified as a new member. So there are a few columns which are NC1 to NC5. These columns are identified as, as new columns with the CG so and so. And these are the five columns which are being found missing from the CG so and so. Like the CG will be mentioned over here. So if we just go to the layout and check. So these are my columns NC1 up to NC5. So these columns have been considerably shifted or they are been relocated in such a way that the CG of these columns have found to be gone outside the locus of the existing or the original column and hence they are identified as a new column. Coming back to the design report, update design report. Then we get the information about the columns which have gone missing from which levels. So all these five columns C1 to C5 at so and so levels are found missing. And these columns which are found at 18.2 meter level are identified as new column because this entire level which is 18.2 meters itself is a new level. And hence all the members that are identified at this level are new members or new columns for our series. But if we observe, these columns are not named as new columns. They are the same columns, C6 to C30. So if we go back to the design input tab and check the columns, C6 to C30 are my actual columns or the original columns, but still the new members which are being identified at this particular level are named as the same columns because they actually belong to the same column family and are added at a new level. And hence the name of the column remains the same, but a fresh design will be performed for the columns C6 to C30 at 18.2 meter level. Then we get to see the columns whose sizes have changed. So columns say 10, 16, so column 10 size, what was the original size and what is the updated size? Same for column C16, what was the original size and updated size? Now for columns C16, 24 and 30, it is found that these columns have shifted from the original location. But the shift is such that it is found within the locus of the original column. So uh, if we just go back to our presentation when I, where I had shown you the uh, model overlook, these are my columns C16, 24 and 32. So these columns were originally located at 8.87 meters from the center of this. But now they have been shifted towards right and now the new distance is 9 meters. Now these columns have shifted by a few millimeters, but still they are identified as the same columns just because the new CG, that is the new location of this column, still lies within the boundary of the 
original column size or the shape so it lies basically within the locus of the original column and next we can see finally what are the changes in the reinforcement so for the columns where the reinforcement has been increased will be presented in the report so for column c7 if we see the shear length has been increased so earlier the requirement was at the spacing of 250 and now as the spacing has decreased the asv requirement has increased the similar presentation will be seen for other columns or even for the walls if the ast has changed then it will be presented in this report also we need to note one important thing here is if we want to just retain the design from the updated file then we need to save as this file because if we just click on save then my original rcdc file will be lost and it will be overwritten by the new data and the new design we will be losing our original file so to just keep a copy of the original file as well as the revised updated file we need to save as this rcdc file and i select rcdc and i just name it as an update file so now i will have both my files one is my original file and one is the updated file with me for my future reference so that's all about the update design functionality for the column module in the next video we will check how the update design functionality works for other modules and rcdc so stay tuned with us. Thank you.